Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Discord.js video. In today's video, uh, might be a little bit confusing for most of you, might be a little bit weird. Uh, yes, I'm back with Discord.js videos. A lot of you guys requested me to make videos about this, uh, yada yada. Yeah, I'm gonna show all of you guys an updated video from the last video, which was a clear command. That command had a lot of issues. Uh, it worked actually for most of people, but it was giving people an error on the command prompt. Uh, which is totally fine. We're gonna check it out how we can fix it. But before we start the video, guys, I want you guys right now hit that like button, that subscribe, red subscribe button. That means a lot. I will put this command that I'm gonna do right now in the description, so you guys go and go ahead and check it out. Now, without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. All right, so I mean my videos that I did this are just coding tutorials that I have, my ad roll or whatever I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a command, and I'm gonna call it. Um, Again, I think most of you guys know what I'm doing. Uh, the command name is gonna be um, what is it called? Clear.js. I think I'm already happy clear.js, which is fine. I'm gonna go back to the. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one because uh, that means better. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna clear it to a new one. I'm gonna clear the js. There we go. So now we want to create the clear js. We have to do something. Okay, I'm gonna make it bigger for y'all. So once we have this clear the js, um, we have to uh, you know do some stuff in here. So one of the important things is just I have to, you know, you might be new to the channel and you say, oh my God, what is you do, the dude is doing right now? Is he doing uh, programming stuff? Yeah, I'm doing it. Don't worry. So look at that. We have the message function. I have, I'm using command hello right now. I will link in the description. Um, I will put a link in the description, which is going to be about the code that is for the clear command. This is not going to be the full code. Okay. This is just going to be a paste bin. So you guys can go ahead and check it out and you will see the code on there. So what i'm gonna do is actually i have my command handler i'm just gonna go ahead and copy one i'm gonna paste one a command uh you know template template actually we're just going to clear again we're just gonna do uh clear and um, yes we got mem uh it doesn't matter i'm gonna put an accessibility the important things taking are just this stuff so perfect so now we got this stuff here ready without any issues now we have to first of all add a permission to our clear command all we're gonna do right now is important in this exactly in here so if you're using your index.js as your command handler but you don't have a command handler or something it's fine you just have to put the code that i'm gonna put inside of here so i'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the uh first of all i'm gonna start off with a permission so we're just gonna do f uh there we go um, first of all, I'm gonna do message that member has permission that has this. So I'm gonna explain this. This is gonna be a permission for manage messages. So if the member who used this command had the permission for managing the messages, then that dude or person can be able to, you know, manage. Yeah, there we go, manage messages. So technically, we just have to that dude. If that dude had this permission, then he will be able to use this command. If not, then it will do a return. So we're just gonna do return. So we'll, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we're gonna do return. And that's it. So it will return on well, if the user doesn't doesn't have the message message permission, then it will stop the action. But if you want to send the message, pretty much simply just have to do message that channel to send. That's it. After the return, uh, and uh, it's taking you just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do message that channel to send. It's gonna send uh, lack of permission, lack of terms. That's it. So it will say that the lack of a perm. Let's check out this one. And we're gonna see if this one gonna work or something. Uh, we can check it out right now, actually. So we're just gonna do uh, no dot. Yeah, there we go. It's online. There we go. So we're just gonna do clear. Um, we're gonna see if the clear works. Yeah, it does. It do, it does work. It did not send me a message of lack of permission. So this means the command works. So which is fine. We learned how we can use the permissions now. So next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna do the system for our killer command. First, we gotta do clear amount which is gonna be a let let delete amount which is gonna be the amount that we're gonna delete and as you can see we have this uh, as a let command so which is gonna be a function which is gonna be like a non command which is, which is gonna be the second argument and the next thing we're gonna do is we just have the this command right over here it might be confusing for you all which is fine don't worry this is a command for uh if the user that put like let's just say he put like clear and then ra -pa -pa -pa, whatever we have this one here it, it's not an amount right it's, it's just some words if it wasn't an amount then it's gonna return that me uh, it's, it's gonna return a message that reply uh please put a number only so it's gonna put down for the second argument it's gonna put a number technically so uh, we got this as well. We're just making sure that if the permissions are working fine without any issue. And the next thing we're gonna do is, this is the last thing about the permission and stuff. Okay, so this is one of the important parts because 
if you're using your own hosting like let's just say you're hosting a bot software discord there should be a limited amount for clear command um so your bot can have a big amount of message that they can clear so let's just say a user said clear um a thousand it will not clear a thousand for sure because either you have a vps then it will work without any issues but if you don't have a vps then a bigger amount will not work and it will you know crash the whole bot so in my opinion if you're hosting your bot using the terminal put it on 100 and uh, you can put it like 600 or something so the max clear amount will be 600 so we're just gonna do this and it's gonna message our reply uh you can only it's supposed to like you can only uh delete a hundred messages at a time but if the delete amount wasn't i mean more than a hundred then it will do an action else function which is gonna be if you don't have an arc system then i recommend you uh having one if you don't have i'm gonna make an arc system in the top as well and the reason is because uh you know most of you guys doesn't don't have a like uh, arc system in your code which you need an arc system for that um so, so what i'm gonna do is actually i'm gonna go ahead and put this on which is an arc system um you guys should use it if you want in case you want your command to work if you already defined arc into your code uh and it's not like this then you might consider removing the r i mean renaming the arg this put this code after your code and then rename this arg to args one so if you don't have something like that then you should put it on args one and change all of the args in here to args one that's technically it next thing you have to do in here you just have to go ahead and uh we said the arg number two which is actually uh here so this is the amount under this arg here it's gonna remove it so now once we did this we are gonna go ahead and do message at channel bulk fleet so we're gonna use the bulk build function which is gonna use this is the new function that we're gonna use and the delete amount is the function that we're using here and the delete amount is gonna be parsed in arc number two so uh we're gonna use this and we have the message at channel bulk delete in here what are we going to do right now we just have to go ahead and do a message that we deleted we're going to message that reply i guess yeah we're gonna do a message or reply because it's better and then we're going to successfully delete this amount but uh we're going to use these kind of semicolons i don't know what is it called bro there we go we're going to use this because uh, we're using a delete amount in from here so i think we're done you literally can without any issues do this so i'm just going to go down and do no dot and i'm going to test each one of the function that we did in here so uh let's just say i'm doing like here a thousand it's going to say you can only delete 100 message at a time so as you can see the whole code crash this is because we have to do a return function we're just going to do put return in here no dot again and i'm going to put the a thousand which we limited to a hundred and if i do this the code is not going to crash and it's said that you can only do it a hundred message at a time and it depends on what you put in here and you can change it in here as well so i'm going to go ahead and do clear uh 10. there we go so this will be the 10 messages without any issues um that's technically you just had you just made your code to delete messages and without any problems the last code was having a lot of issues which is fine well i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you enjoyed drop a like hit that red subscribe button that means a lot guys and go ahead and join to our discord server if you have any issues comment down below about your problems i hope i will see you next video guys peace out and stay beautiful